One of the experiences with the greatest impact on the pilgrim who travels to the Holy Land is visiting the same places where Christ preached. These natural locations haven't changed as much over the years as places like Jerusalem, Bethlehem, or Nazareth. It's easy for the visitor to imagine Jesus weathering the storm in the Sea of Galilee on a rainy day like this, or fishing. That's exactly how this boat has been preserved, extracted with extreme caution from the lake. It's dated to the first century, and its remains have been maintained thanks to mud that prevented its deterioration. This ship gives a clear idea of what the vessels were like when Christ sailed these waters accompanied by his disciples. The boat was discovered in 1986 during a severe drought. To prohibit the wood from disintegrating upon contact with oxygen, it underwent a complex conservation process. Keeping in mind the Sea of Galilee, another touching pilgrimage site is the Mount of the Beatitudes. Many people here are moved to tears upon realizing that Christ gave the Sermon on the Mount here. It's very touching to see where Christ actually walked and to see the places where Christians suffered uh, and, and died for the cause that they believed in. It's just uh, it's kind of a miracle to me to be here and uh, experience uh, walking where Jesus walked and uh, thinking about his words and meditating on those and it just draws me closer to our Lord. I have a very sick father at home, and so to feel the presence of the Lord, it's comforting as I'm here walking in the footsteps of Jesus. I felt very comforted. After reminiscing on the Beatitudes, continuing on this path around the lake, another key site is the Church of the Multiplication, where Christ performed the miracle of the fish and loaves. These Byzantine mosaics from the 5th century show this marvel. In the basket, there are only four loaves, though the scriptures say there were five. It's this way because the fifth loaf is the loaf of life, Christ himself. Prayer is spontaneous here, whether in silent reflection or in the form of singing, like that of this group of pilgrims from Pekin. The last part of this journey is the River Jordan, which shares waters with Lake Tiberias. Here, pilgrims can be baptized in the same place as Christ himself. It's a river where, despite the passing of centuries, many can still lift the weight off their shoulders by beginning again after losing their way.